right, we're going over the custom pack. The Leviathan change that just dropped, fantastic. I cannot overstate how good this change is. Basically, if you haven't seen, the old Leviathan would just summon four fish and it would be increasing stat line based on the level. This Leviathan summons a single fish, increasing stat line still, but it gives it experience based on its level. So you're guaranteed a level up at the end of every turn, assuming you have a slot open. So this pairs very well, as you would expect, with the likes of Team Spirit, maybe Clownfish. It also gets the fish, which is already high statted, to a level three very quickly. So here's the premise. We're gonna be trying to combine this Leviathan with the likes of a pelican who eats the the pets and it benefits really well from high level high statted pets with no in battle abilities that's a fish it, however you slice it that's a fish so we're going to be getting some relatively high statted level three fish there's a few different ways to go about this build that we're going to try out today definitely check it out try it out for yourself let me know how you think of it but for now let's jump right in Okay, so we're gonna try a couple Bakus here. Um, obviously we take Mr. Bush. I'm gonna call him George. Uh, fallen birds. You know some birds, I just learned this not long ago, <laughs> but some birds apparently just like drop out of their nests when they're like really young, but that's like part of living, I think, is how it works. It's, it's really weird, I don't really get it, but yeah, kind of crazy. They're just like dropping out, Mac on the ground. Or maybe there was eggs involved. It was like how they crack the eggs open when they hatch. I don't know, something like that. It was like really funky, but. So we can do the Baku on this dude. Um, Cause even if it goes before the, the bushes, we still have the second Baku as a little backup. The, looks like we did not need it though, so that's good. And I feel like we're good. We are good, okay. Only because they have a bluebird in the back. Otherwise we would most certainly not be good. So we take Skeleton Dog here, we get 2-2. Two, two. We take Puppy, we get 2-3. Albeit Skeleton Dog, if you keep him around longer, he'll keep buffing, but I think I kind of like the targeted lasagna here. And these tier 1s are not really what I'm going for, but we'll slot in this homie. I think we have to have George in the front, not only because he has a lot of attack, but he can also give... He actually gives attack to somebody. So I guess if you have a low health homie... It can be good to throw on there. That didn't really work. <laughs> that backfired a little bit. We could have drawn. Um, anyway, but yeah, so now they changed it. So he actually gives attack and spooked to the guy in front. A little bit different than it was on the test server where it would just give more pets spooked if you leveled it up. So it's not quite as powerful combo with the with the Baku. I'm kind of disappointed by that, honestly, because I feel like Baku George was like a really good combo. It like made Baku actually usable, but now it's kind of like, yeah, it's okay. But you know, unfortunately, Baku now is <laughs> going after after the bush or going before the bush. The bush is going after Baku, so it's not actually giving a her health anymore. So we're gonna need to get something cooking here. Ooh, a little sea lion. We could get a foo dog. Throw the bluebird in. I get rid of puppy here. Grab an early sea lion. And then who do we want lasagna on? Probably just the lower health homie. I think we're keeping Bluebird around for a little while at least. It's the only scaler we have um, that's like decent statted. You know, we're not looking to add more health asymmetry to a sea lion. And Baku, I don't know if he's sticking around. Well, maybe he will. 
<laughs> Maybe he will after all, we'll see. Um, fortunately, Bluebird is cooking right now. Da Big Shiga. I didn't see his last, the rest of his name. The Big Shiga. Okay. What are we looking for here? If we can get a level into another sea lion, that'd be pretty dope. I mean, we'll take the Baku because it's just some extra stats. I don't think we're going to end up doing... Well, because now the Baku is too, too high attack. So he's not he's never gonna be able to work with our with our George. <laughs> he can't work with our George. Dead. Ooh, we get the draw. I like it. So yeah, now it's getting kinda awkward. I don't really know how to do this whole bush thing. I think we just get rid of it for the skunk. Skunk is guaranteed to be good. It's just like a super strong pet from the get-go. I like grapes here. Yeah, let's throw grapes on Bluebird. Grapes are highly underrated. IMO. If you can get Bird of Paradise with, <laughs> with enough grapes, you'd have to get four grapes on your team, but then you're guaranteed to get two Bird of Paradise triggers every turn. I mean, that's got to count for something, right? Eli number two, please. Uh, we got a foo dog. We want him on tier... Probably tier six. The foo dog ability. Ooh, and sea lion again. A little unfortunate. See, like, that gunk literally just won us around here. Literally. <laughs> Gunk is too good. It's so strong. It's not too good. It's not like it's overpowered. Well, I, I could see an argument that it would be, but <laughs> it's not like insane, you know? It's just really good. It's the kind of pet that shouldn't be changed, but it is very good. I think we grab a mongoose, just gets a little extra scaling here. We can set up for an alpaca next turn. Ooh, another skunk. So we do want pelican eventually, but I don't know if it's worth keeping. We'll hang on to him for a second. Because there's a lot of other steps that need to be taken prior to getting the the pelican going. But we do need to get levels on him, so we'll see. Ooh, one off. If we had one more health, we would have drawn that. Okay, so now we're at two health. We get the skunk here. They changed it now. Alpaca works on alpacas. You can get a really easy level two alpaca here. I think we just might do that. We go here. Combine for the level two. We going dragon? Dragon D's nut? No. It's a it's a decent scaler. Maybe we set it up just in case. In case we're like really hurting. What are we going for here? Yeah, I mean Petzl is whatever. We're not really looking for duplicates on the Yeti. We'll keep the tier one for the dragon. That'll be our we'll keep two pets. Maybe. <laughs> I can't decide. I don't know. Because it's also like, do we want to be full sending dragon? Probably not. Okay, his boar is small. That's great. Because think about it like this. If we're full sending the dragon and just buy selling tier ones, we're not building toward our eventual end goal. Like, what's even the point? You know? You know what I'm saying? We could get rid of Bluebird here. Get a level up. Dude, they're really trying to push this dragon. We we got it, I think. I think it's mandatory. At the very least, we could be getting some sort of synergy with it. You know, we're at least getting stats on our guys. 
which helps a little bit. Go here. Because the pelican eventually is going to need to eat something. So maybe it's not a, a huge problem getting some extra stats on someone like the skunk, who we're definitely going to keep around. Let's see. Unfortunate. <laughs> the rest of his team really isn't that strong, though. Swift deal. Just got a swift deal to go to butcher shop. Hmm, we could do a mongoose, level 2. Maybe grab the, the leviathan. Ooh, leviathan, hell yeah, okay. Television. Seems pretty good. So here's how this is gonna work. <laughs> Uh, this is tough. I don't... Mm. I don't think we play the Leviathan ability yet until we get to level 2. Team Spirit is great too. Here, we gotta sell this dragon. This is, this is a huge misplay getting this dragon in here. This is not... simply not gonna be good for us. Okay, we got very- oh, dude, we got so lucky. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, that was very fortunate. Okay, so yeah, I mean... The dragon is a super hard sell here. Because we need to keep a lot of these guys. I don't want to get rid of the skunk. <laughs> How much gold did we put into him? 18 gold for nothing? That's good. That's fantastic. Alright, so- ooh, this is huge. Okay. So we level you. Everyone gets buffed. I think we ditched the alpaca here. We can do a little squirrel pill. So, I, th I think the skunk is better than the alpaca. Marginally. But I, I could see both, to be honest. Because the alpaca would also get the fish to level 3 here. Giving us another trigger on our homie. On our team spirit. Oh, these guys are weak. What the heck? We haven't even gotten the strawberries going yet. Ooh, 4-4 to everybody. Thank you. Okay, so we need to get a leviathan to level 3. So it starts summoning level 3 fish. We need to get strawberry jam. That is also important. But do we? <laughs> How do we make room here? I don't. I don't know. This feels like such a cluttered team. Okay. Well. Yes, we just ditch the team spirit. This is going to be a test. Okay, we're going to test whether or not this is enough just base stats on these fish, or if we need to start doing Team Spirit next time. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put Strawberry on this other fish, and then we're gonna see what happens. This guy's running a turkey. What a goofball. Boom! Coming out with the salmon. <laughs> the late edition. Love it. Okay. So we go here. And then, honestly, it, it would be better, for everyone screaming right now in the chat, it would be better to keep the skunk, obviously. <laughs> but I want to see what it's like with the full fish squad, okay? Obviously the skunk is going to be better than just a Greg fish, but that's not what we're going for here. We're going for straight up fish. Just pelican chomping on some fish, just like in nature. Tell me the last time you've seen a pelican eat a skunk. Case closed. Beautiful. So now if we do lose here, we'll get another strawberry on this fish, and then we just like kind of cook, I think. I think that's the general game plan. <laughs> oh, baby. Alright, we almost got it completed. We got the three fish, we haven't quite gotten them leveled and all three strawberried. We'll come back to this, but 
first, I think we're going to try out a little bit of a different strategy. A little different way of making this work, you know? Alright, give me a little bluebird, give me a little... A little otter. You can get the combo cooking here. Be some uncertain eggplant. <laughs> Alright, who are we up against? Billy Billy J W W P. A J W P, sorry. My mistake. Do this. Hopefully the the bluebird doesn't hit one of these two, but it's a 50-50. Ooh, bluebird, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. My good sir. And now we're good. We're cooking up the ants real good. Get a camel. African penguin. Look at this. I know it's not super exciting giving a an apple to a camel in tier three, but sometimes it's what you gotta do. Cool. This is looking solid. This is looking really solid. Save you. I have a bluebird. And okay, get a level next turn. We level next turn. We should probably reorganize our team a little bit. That's on me. Hmm, that's tough. Level. We don't have any good cell pets for our elk. However, we can run a lobster. Lobster's pretty good. Maybe we ditch you. Throw in a hatching chick. And like this. We can throw in the lettuce next turn for a little 3-3 three, three action. Sounds fantastic. Oh yeah, dude, we're good. We're golden. A hatching chick 3-3 three, three gets us there. And we'll do that. I'm tempted to unfreeze this ant, but... I will persist just in case we get something good here. Looking good. We go here, we roll. Go here. There's the ant, I'm glad we kept him. Fantastic. Uh, there's no reason not to just do this right now. That's just very good. Sure. Get rid of the hatching chick. We're going to run a skunk. And then... How do we want to do could get a crow. There though. Um, lettuce hits three again. Fantastic. Don't mind if I do. Not that they're the three we're really looking to invest a lot in, but still good. The bat is so good. Oh so good. Level me. Hear it, huh? Go here, that way we can do a little, a little bit of this. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And now, now we're looking for levels.
Orau? Or, uh, ooh, oh no, <laughs> I just realized what their name actually is. Now I feel silly. Okay. We're gonna do something a little drastic here. But it's gonna be good in the end. Huge. That is fantastic. Because now we're gonna get some levels here, we're gonna get some stats, we're gonna get the camel going, and we have an alpaca coming up. It's just even better. Love it. Alright, so to get rid of Tiger Bug, we go. Let's level you first. Alpaca. Hold the team spirit. Just do this. We're gonna level you. Now we can ditch the Quetzalcoatl. We can get a level three team spirit. U utilizing our alpaca, of course. We go here. We want another alpaca. Why not? Hey, we're not seeing exactly what I'm looking for here. Will we survive with one health? No way. <laughs> oh, we still lose. Feels bad, man. Alright, so here's how this is gonna work. It's gonna look insane at first. I'm not saying it's not insane. However... We're gonna go... this How many triggers do you have one left this turn ooh that's perfect okay we are golden this is exactly how we want the team to look now you may be thinking you know it's not quite exactly, because you need to get level 3 Leviathan, but that's what the alpaca is for. That's where the alpaca homie comes in. Ooh. Insane scaling. Love it. And we're good. And we're good. Look at this. Okay, hold the jam. See what we got here. Good crow. Oh, we can't get him level. The alpaca is not not gonna work with that. Hold me. This is tough. This is a tough call here. I think we level you. Just not getting the guys we're looking for here. So we're gonna put strawberry jam on you, sell the fish. If we could find a pelican. That'd make our lives so much easier. <laughs> so much easier. 
But anyway, this is a lot of scaling. We got a lot going here. And that'll do it. So what is that? We get three, three on, we'll say three pets. So nine, nine times two, 18, 18, plus the two from the fish. 20, 20, plus the four from the fish, second level up. 24, 24 in stats. That's pretty good. It's just kind of like an end of turn and a gold generator. That's not bad at all. That's pretty solid. So let's see. So we got some bluebirds. We got a duck. Maybe we get a little, uh, little elk synergy going on with the duck, if we can get a bunch of them. Alright, we got bailed out by the moth change. Love to see it. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, uh, the moth got changed. Really all of the targeted front of team pets got changed to where they can't hit themselves. So the moth can't hit itself, it's in the front, same with the monkey. So it'll just hit the unit behind it instead. Which is, you know, it screws up quite a few people from what I've seen. Myself included. Alright, so we'll take the level up. Armadary's fine. There's an argument to be made to keep the camel in the shop so the drum can scale it. I'm kinda hesitant to do that. I don't wanna like start losing, you know? I don't wanna be like getting nuked out here. I, mean, I think we're probably just gonna throw in the camel. African Penguin gives us some attack, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if it's that good. So does the Bluebird though, we don't have to pay for the Bluebird. We already did. Alright, Bluebird's going for the fish. Love to see it. Um, I think, yeah, we're gonna be good. We're cooking. Having a grand old time. I genuinely don't think we care at all about either of these. I mean, the guinea pig has some level up potential, obviously. But, like, we'd have to start selling homies, and I don't think we're going to do that. I will take some emperor penguins, though. Not emperors, African penguins. Because that's just solid. We can do that. Um, honestly, broccoli is great here, I think. Okay. Level up next turn. Yeah, dude... 5-4 compared to a 4-7. On a camel especially, you do 4-7 all day. Look at that. We got two triggers instead of one that we would have gotten. Beautiful stuff. Now we get a level into a tier 4. Let's see what we get. Tiger bug. Always good. Turtle is super strong, but there's some obvious dis-synergies there when you're talking turtle in front of like a camel or something. Now, of course, you could put it in front of the fish, but I don't know if we're going to keep the fish around that long, you know? Ooh, this is going to be solid. This is going to be fantastic. We're getting the camel buffed. He has garlic. Oh, this guy's running elk. Oh, baby, it's just over. <laughs> it's just over. Somebody... Alright, camel. Lettuce is fantastic. Anytime you can get 3-3 three, three off a of lettuce, you full send that all day. All day. No questions asked. I don't think we care about... Garlic on the fish could be good, only because there's a camel in front of it. Dude, this bluebird is in love with this fish. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the blue homie synergy or what. But, boy, that is... The fish is getting some special treatment or something. And our camel is literally just soloing their entire team. Billy Billy just got smacked by a camel. Alright, what are we going for here? It's a good question. We, we could run a cow. I mean, the bluebird gives two attack. The cow gives two attack and four health. I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's not bad. We could even do cow and then sell it into a sea lion. 
or even more. Oh, I like this. I think we're in a fantastic spot right here. We also have five hearts still, which is just perfect. Could not ask for anything better. And yeah, dude, honestly, if anybody in any pack has a high statted garlic camel, you know, you're hard pressed to, to defeat that homie. No, that's all I'm going to say. This guy is, this guy is tough. And I'm not even worried about getting him level two right now because he has so much health. He's just gonna keep smacking guys. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> are we fighting an unusual number of summon teams? I feel like we are. I feel like there's more summon teams out here than there normally are. Which, like, in this instance is fantastic. Because Camel Hard counters all of the summons. But yeah, okay. Early Leviathan is huge. Okay, hold on. We ditched the Baboon, of course. Well, there we go. I think we ditched the sea lion too. We have to make room for him. Throw a little garlic on you, I guess. And, okay, level, good. We have chocolate, dude, imagine. Picture this. Imagine we level up the tiger bug straight into a leviathan, level two, before we even are at tier six. How insane, we just did it. I, I forgot about the fish. Dude. Why is Leviathan so strong? Is it too good? It's a guaranteed level up and plus two plus two and two extra gold if you sell it every turn. Like that's gotta be too good, right? Surely. But dang, dude, that is that is solid. Um, I mean, there's a world in which we play a Quetzalcoatl. But I just don't think it's necessary. Oh my lord, and we just get a friggin' Pelican level 2 already? You're 2020, you're actually stronger than our level 3 fish now. <laughs> Weirdly enough. The bluebird's dream. And he, he's just getting... Passed up instantly. I'm sorry, Bluebird. He's rolling in his grave right now. So, I mean, we definitely are taking the pelicans here. Question is, who are we making room for? We getting rid of the one of the fish? Ooh. I mean, we. It's it's hard, right? Like, do we need the level three? We could also run an alpaca, to be fair. Um, let's see. Because here's the problem. We need to get a lot of guys level 3. And we're a little bit too good right now. <laughs> There's the Leviathan. Oh my lord. They're, we're close. They're trying. So let's ignore... The pelican level ups for now. I want to make sure that we're getting our leviathan cooking. Okay, that's actually good. I'd rather lose here. We get a level here. Okay, alpaca is not necessary anymore. Yeah, I think at this point we're just looking for strawberries. We're gonna have to sell probably the camel to get our our fish dream cooking. But I think for now we sell the fish. And maybe now we start building toward this pelican. Start getting him going a little bit, you know. I mean we might just be getting rid of this fish too. He's not that strong. Um, what do we got here? Yeah, I think we go strawberry on... We'd go either one. We'll go fish. There we go. Yeah, now we get two level ups. And four, four. That's just insane. I think we're good here. Maybe not. The weakness hurts a lot. 
Yeah, no. I don't think we're gonna do it. The shark. Ooh, we get the draw. That's perfect. I kind of forgot about him, to be honest. <laughs> I forgot that we had him. Alright, now we ditch the camel. We're gonna go a little buffing synergy here. I know the fish has strawberry, but I think we still sell him. Ooh, we can get strawberry on Because then we'll get the level 3 high stat from the Leviathan. And now I think we start looking for the pelican here. We could even buy sell crow. Guaranteed chocolate. I think now is when we look for the pelican level 3, get some strawberries going. Extra 4-4 four, four ain't too bad from the team spirit. Um, I mean, yeah, we're just, we're good, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. Alright, so we're at 9 wins. Let's see if we can pull this off. All in one turn. We got two oysters, that's a good start. Now we're just seeing too many leviathans. Team Spirit's tempting, don't get me wrong. If we were going strictly for the best team, I would have a level 3 Team Spirit already. But we're not. That's not the goal. We're not trying to sell out here or nothing, you know? We're looking for... Okay, ooh, we actually got level 3 here. That's huge. We're looking for the peak... Peak fish pelican combo, okay? I don't want to win here, so we're going to put the pelican up front. If we win here, that's going to be a little depressing, but <laughs> hopefully not. Oh no, dude, no shot. The peanut homie? No way. I'm glad to see that buy sell is doing as good as ever. Alright, so now the leviathan is useless. We don't need him anymore. So... I... I guess we just look for a good backup pet. I don't really know what a good backup is going to look like. Like, who are we really fishing for here? We could do... Just some general scaling. Look for some bros. Quetzalcoatl is technically scaling too. If you squint. Really, we're looking for health scaling. We want to get one of the fish to 50 at health if possible. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, there's like monkey, but that's kind of whatever. We could do a cow. Do cow here. We're just going to try to get this guy to, to 50. Another cow. Ooh, we can actually buy sell zebra into cow. A little bit better. He's almost there. He's 43. He's getting close. Alright. We're not going to stall anymore for the 50. This is the, the end game. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, he just got perfect lethal on that guy. So Pelican, that's really good to know. Pelican goes off even if he gets sniped at the beginning of the round. You don't have to worry about getting like potatoes and whatnot on it. That's good to know. Keep that in mind. Um. Okay, we found a cow. I think we go pear and then cow. Well, we can actually sell. We can roll for another cow. He's not going to be at 50 anyways if we do that. Petzl, maybe we get to 50 here if we get super lucky. <laughs> we did not get super lucky. Alright. Well, we got the team here. How does this go? I mean, we're just going to nuke everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this team is great. I love it. I'm sure there's plenty of ways where you can get three 50-50s using the likes of Team Spirit and whatever. But this is more fun, I feel like. I enjoy doing this whole three fish combo. There's something satisfying that you just have three base units, no special in battle effects. It's exactly what the pelican's built for.